is up everybody today we are going to do the 2020 channel review all right but first and foremost before we get to anything i want to send a huge thank you to all of you fans out there and all you subs without your continued support i wouldn't be doing what i'm doing so thank you so much for viewing these videos and you know liking them sharing them commenting on them uh you guys really are the greatest and I can't thank you enough. So when I started this channel about a year ago, I honestly never thought it would get to this. Um, you know, back in December of 2019, literally was just filming for fun just to see where it went. And, you know, it just took off in 2020. Um, some of the crazy stats, I wrote these down. I have a very bad memory, so I had to write them down. But in all for 2020, we had 67 total videos. In those 67 videos, we had 5,000 likes, 2,700 comments, 2,100 new subs, over 125,000 views, and this one kind of blew my mind, 827,000 minutes watched total for all my videos. So, honest to God, thank you so much. Uh, that's kind of nuts in my opinion. I'm just like a you know, small channel. I'm not one of these big YouTubers. Uh, as you can tell from my editing, I'm not, you know, a pro at making videos. I'm just a guy who loves fishing and wants to share it with you guys. All right, so for this video, we're going to go back to January 2020 and work our way all the way up to right now, December 15th, um, and just do a, you know, top five moments of the year, throw in some, you know, videos that just missed the cut. And then also some bad things that's happened while I was filming. So let's start. All right. So before we get to our top five moments of 2020, here are some uh, clips that just missed the cut. All right. Just got, oh, first fish on. Let's go. First, oh, look at that. Double header, baby. Double freaking header. That's how you start a freaking day. I'll tell you what, man, I didn't even get a chance to explain this fluke rig, but I'll do it later. One. And a two. Let's go. That's, I'll tell you what, man, I could head home now. Fish on. Ooh. That's a, look like a sucker. Damn. Yeah. Ooh. Damn, look at that guy. Nah, that's a that's a sucker, a white sucker. I got a four pound test on this, so I'm gonna lose it. I don't wanna lose you, little buddy. They are pretty good eating, to be honest with you. I just don't wanna lose them. Oh, look at that guy. Man, all right, please don't snap my line. Please don't snap my line. Please don't snap my line. Whoa, damn, that's a fat sucker, boy. Damn, look at that compared to my hand. Jeez. All right, we're gonna give this popper a quick shot. It's a um, storm three inch popper not sure the exact name I could find out Oh, fish on, let's go. Let's freaking go, baby, on the popper. Look at that. Look at that freaking perch, dude. Look at that freaking perch. Damn, son. On the popper. Fishing, but they're downstream of me. Oh, damn, damn. Oh, son, son. I almost, whoa. 
whatever this is. Almost grabbed the rod out of my holy moly. This almost ripped the rod right out of the holder. I don't know what it is. It's running kind of like a striper. Yep, that's a striper. Damn, look at that guy. That's a bigger one. That's on the year old blood worm, man. Let's freaking go. Who said you need fresh blood worms to catch fish? Let's go, got him. Finally, baby, finally. Got, got ourselves a tog. It actually feels like a nice one too, man. Oh man, look at that guy. We might lose him on the way up. Look at this freaking tog. Man, I hope we don't lose you, buddy. Although, my eyes aren't that great, but it does look like he's hooked in the eye, so. That's why I felt so big. Damn, son. Damn, son, look at that. He wasn't even eating it, he just was looking right there. Boy, that's a beautiful tog. Kinda know how to fish for him. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Oh, oh, come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's a bigger one. We're gonna try and get this guy up. There we go, baby. Woo! I thought I was gonna miss this one. Ugh. Man, look at that hook snapped. Good thing I got him. I didn't want to send him back without with that, you know, piercing. But it's a little slime dart, probably 12 inches, maybe 13. Come on. Got him. Let's go, got him. Whoa. Ooh, this is a big one. Oh, son. I don't know. Damn, this thing is running. My guess has got to be a striper. A little striper or or a, or a bigger perch. Oh, man. He is just running me. What do we got? What do we got? Nope. He didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. Got close to the sod. Oh man, what, what is it? Is that a big cat? Oh son, look at that catfish. Whoa. Oh my God, dude, look at this catfish. Look at this freaking cat that swallowed that. Oh my God. Look at this cat. <laughs> he ate that little Gamma scud, look at that. Crazy. Man, whatever it is I just hooked into. Feels big, bigger. Not sure what it is, it's kind of fighting real funny. Definitely got a good head shake. Oh man, look at that dude. Another striper. Look at that. Oh man, look at that friggin' striper on the sand flea. In fact, ugh. poor guy, he was just looking at it. Look at that. That's why I felt weird because he was foul hooked. What a freaking beauty. All right, off you go. All right, so we're going to start with number five. Uh, now, it was very tough to pick five moments of the year um, because we fished a ton but uh, number five comes to you from a lake uh, back in May we went crappie fishing and we were having the greatest time out on our kayak catching crappie after crappie and then out of nowhere we hooked into you know what I thought was a mondo crappie but it ended up being something different let's take you to the clip Get back over top 
of that hole. Got him. Dude. 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 Oh my god, this is a big one. Whatever this is, is big. Oh my god. Do you see this? This thing's spinning my kayak around, whatever this is. Oh my god. Dude, do you see this? Whatever it is, man, it's got some shoulders on it, boy. I don't know, to be honest with you, the way it's fighting. Oh, dude! Oh my god. It's a huge, huge largemouth. But he does not look like he's very well hooked. Oh my god, no, he's not at all. Uh, let's see if we can't get him out. Dude, that's a big largemouth. Yeah, he's barely hooked. I mean, I'm turning the camera real quick so you can see this giant. Dude, that's like... Look at that freaking thing. I don't even got a net. Right. Dude, that thing took me for a run. Dude, look at this freaking... Dude, that's a big bass. I'm not going to lie. Look at that bass. That's definitely the biggest bass I've ever caught in my life. I, you don't even got a long arm, this guy. Now, with clip number four, we went out, you know, the first day of spring trout season in New Jersey. With the pandemic, the state, you know, allowed us to fish a little earlier than they normally do. So we took advantage of that, went out on the first day uh, just to, you know, see what was happening, catch a few trout. And boy, was I, you know, not expecting this next catch. Let's watch. Now I see these guys all the time fishing power bait and they, they're, they must miss like no exaggeration, about 20 hits every time. And I see them and honestly what the big problem with power bait is, it's so soft is when these fish are going for it, they're grabbing it and swimming with it. They're not like sitting there chewing on it. So if your line's super tight and a fish is trying to swim away with the power bait, it doesn't have it completely in its mouth, what ends up happening is, you know, they're ripping the bait right off your hook, you're swinging and you're missing. Um, I can't tell you, I'm telling you, I watch guys all the time. And don't, don't get me wrong, I was one of those guys. Uh, but, you know, from fishing my whole life, you learn different techniques and tricks to you know help up your oh catches whoa look at that damn this is a bigger one. Oh man whoa look at this guy oh man look at this guy damn i think this one's a breeder that's a giant man look at that giant holy moly He's barely hooked. I'm probably going to end up losing him, which isn't a big deal. But holy moly. Look at that guy. I'm size 13, man. That's a giant. For clip number three, we went fishing for stripers. If you watch this channel, you know that striper fishing is probably one of my favorite things to do. And, you know, I try everything under the sun. Different varieties of techniques, different types of fishing form. In this next clip, we decide to bring our trout rod, our four foot six ultralight rod with a 1000 reel. Um, something that's really meant for trout and panfish, not meant for stripers. And we hooked into something that took us for a, a quick ride. So real quick, here's number three. Now, this is a true statement man days like this where it was raining all day it's foggy right oh whoa fish on oh let's go but what i was gonna say was man this guy's peeling some line oh this this might be the biggest one i've had all day man that thing is running 
Shoo. Damn. This one is the biggest one I've had all night, and it's on the lightest rod. I mean, this is a rod built for trout, not... I mean, I'm not exaggerating. My drag is not very light right now. It, it's set at the right amount so that I can handle the size fish that I'm catching, but I might have to walk down the pier because this thing's running. Follow this guy. Oh man, I'm gonna have to walk this one. Yeah. I go figure I'm using the trout rod. This thing's you know designed for rainbows, not for stripers. It probably peeled off about 50 yards of line, maybe 75. I figure if it's big, I ain't gonna be able to land it on land up here. Oh yeah, that's a nice size striper. Damn. I don't know if you can see it, he's in the light right now. He's going towards the beach. I'll try and beach him. Damn. Now here's the other fun part is trying to hop over this fence. I'm not as athletic as I used to be, man. Damn. Oh, oh. Hopefully, oh, I don't break my leg jumping off of this. Let's try and beach this guy. Man, I'm glad I brought my boots with me. I wasn't even planning on wearing my boots. Probably should have worn my waders for this. It's not a bad size one. Damn, let me get him closer. Let's go. Let's get him beached. Oop. I mean, to be honest with you, I have four pound test line on this. And, oh man, look at that. That's a nice fish. Let me hop back over here where we got a little bit of light. That is a nice little striper. I mean, that's not a keeper by any means. I'd say it was probably 24, maybe 23 inches. I mean, this guy, Hooked right in the corner, perfect. Oh. Now, number two on the list. Probably could be number one, but number one is very special. Number two, if you've been following us through this entire experience, you know that there's one species that gave me a run for my money for about a month, and that was snakeheads. I literally spent hours trying to target them and I mean if you watch the catch and cook snakehead video you know exactly what I went through to get to those snakeheads I mean just to give you a little perspective where I live they're not prevalent in fact the nearest water body that I know of them being in is about 55 miles away so every time I was going for this trip to you know catch snakeheads i was driving 110 total miles in fact maybe a little bit more you know stopping to get gas and and taking detours and stuff like that but 110 miles each wet or each trip you know multiple times just to get skunked and i'm telling you the the drive you never realize how long a drive is until you're heading home from getting skunked and I'll tell you, it was a very tough experience, but 
when we did finally get that first snakehead, it was the greatest feeling in the world. So here's number two. Got the spinner on. Switched the color up. Don't know if that makes a difference, but I figured, what the hell, let me try a different color. Oops, something just went after it, but dropped it. There we go, there we go. Oh my freaking God, dude. Oh my freaking God, dude. It's my first freaking sneak. Oh my God, that is a snakehead, baby. That's a Northern snakehead. Oh my God. This is exactly how Nicolas Cage in National Treasure must have felt like when he got that treasure after all that time. Lord, I lost so many of you guys, of your species. Oh my God. Look at that. All right, so we are down to the number one moment of 2020 for our channel. And go figure, number one came three days into the new year uh, on January 3rd, 2020. And this was a no brainer after watching all the videos and going through every clip. This was the number one moment for our channel. Now, just to give you a backstory, uh, I have one child, a daughter. Um, her name's Reese. I took her fishing for the first time in 2020. She was seven months old and we had the perfect uh, moment to get out and get fishing. The weather, which rarely is warm in the wintertime in New Jersey, was 63 degrees on January 3rd. So in my head, I said, how many days will I really get to take her out and do something during the wintertime where she's not going to be, you know, freezing cold or miserable? Now, it was kind of a challenge because at the time she was seven months old. Now, I don't know how many of you have children out there, but... Uh, seven month old and fishing typically don't mix but uh, what's kind of cool proud dad moment you know she doesn't know how to cast yet I, I can't expect that out of her you know she's only seven months old at the time she wasn't even walking but um, she can reel which is kind of cool like she's learned you know the fine motor skill of you know reeling a reel in and you know here's our number one moment check it out Today's baby Reese's first fishing trip. She's exactly seven months and two days. Oh, Peanut, I think. Peanut, let's keep an eye on the rod. We gotta keep an eye on the rod, all right, you ready? You gotta hold that in that hand, yep. And you gotta reel. So let's turn you towards the water. All right, I think you got something. You gotta pull right here, yep, take that and reel. Yeah, just like that. Grab that. Yep. Pull. Here, let me help you. Ugh. Get those little hands. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. What do we got? You got something. You got something. You got a reel. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got, little mess? Do you see it? Gotta keep reeling, gotta keep reeling. Yep, there you go. Keep reeling, keep reeling. <gasps> Little miss, keep reeling. There you go. You got it. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, <gasps> you gotta bring him in. He's right there. He's right there. Keep going, keep going. <gasps> look, look, look. Ooh, you got a good grip of the rod. Got it? Yeah, keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling and grab that. Oh, look, whoa! That's your first fish. Oh. Reesey piece. Reesey, that's your first fishy. It's a white perch. You wanna hold your fishy? Oh, here, grab the line. Little peanut. <gasps> grab the line. There you go. Oh no, you can't grab the fish. He's got spikies. 
I know, I know you want to grab him, but we want to get him back in the water so he can. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, stay tuned because 2021 is going to be a big year for us. And I hope you guys have a safe holiday. Have a great day.